Hello and welcome back to No Bullshit. Today we return to talking about the Apu controversy on the animated sitcom show, The Simpsons. The Simpsons. You probably remember that intro. I'm not a good singer, that's already been established. Earlier this year, the longtime beloved Simpsons character, Apu, came under fire from progressives and SJWs. Apparently after 30 years on the show, for some reason now, in 2018, Apu is now offensive. He's an Indian immigrant character after all, and clearly the radical left has had a problem with his portrayal. Sure, you could easily say Apu is a bit of a stereotype, who speaks in an over-the-top Indian accent, but still, this is a comedy show after all. And this is also not something new. Apu has been around for decades, but what is new is the radical PC culture that's taken over the country, mainly led by progressives and SJWs in the media, and they're ruining our pop culture, if you ask me. Now, a lot of this current controversy started even earlier than 2018. Last November is when things really kicked off, when a whole documentary was released bashing the Simpsons as racist because of Apu. It was called The Problem with Apu, and spoiler warning, it was basically a feature-length rant made by a failed Indian comedian who, shocking, had a problem with Apu. I suspect he was also doing this to virtue signal to leftists, trying to get himself the fame and attention he always wanted. And it kinda worked since the problem with Apu was the talk of the town last fall, which even led to the Simpsons responding to it in a later episode. That brings us back to early 2018, around April, when the Simpsons rebuttal episode aired. The Apu controversy was reignited once again, and that's when my first video came out about it. I did a whole thing about that Simpsons episode, and if you want a full recap, I'll link to the original below. But to go over it briefly here, basically, the Simpsons held their ground. They made an episode with a whole story about it, about how older characters from older works can sometimes seem offensive or racist in modern times, especially when looking through PC left-wing glasses. Essentially, the Simpsons explained themselves pretty well, and seemingly ended this controversy with a proper explanation and a funny rebuttal. And that's where I thought the story would end too, but this brings us back to today, in the new story. Now, about six months later, and it looks like the Simpsons are actually going to cave in to the SJWs. Recent announcements have suggested the Simpsons will be getting rid of their Apu character by quietly writing him off the show this season. It's a sad day for the freedom of speech and a sad day for comedy as well and animation. For more details on this horrific new development, let's turn to an article from Mashable.com called The Simpsons Reportedly Writing Apu Off the Show Quietly with No Fanfare. Check this out. Apu's time on The Simpsons is apparently finished. That's the word from Adi Shankar, at least. The executive producer on Netflix's Castlevania series doesn't work on the Fox hit but he's been connected with the show since launching a contest to crowdsource a Simpsons script that would handle Apu's exit or revision in a smart way. Let's rewind for a minute. The Simpsons has spent the past year dealing with blowback from an audience that has finally recognized Apu's questionable racial representation. The harmful impact of the Quickie Mart proprietor's thick, heavily exaggerated Indian accent and stereotypical characterization overall were explored in Harry Kondabalu's 2017 documentary, The Problem with Apu. Well, first of all, the audience didn't finally realize Apu was questionable. They were told it was a racist and offensive by the now ranging PC police and the SJWs who thought that stupid documentary was legit when really it's just about a butthurt failed comedian. Harry Kondabalu is a hack fraud who says he grew up watching The Simpsons and that Apu made people racist against Indians or some bullshit. And here's the kicker. If you didn't know, there are actually lots of Indian immigrants with heavy accents running convenience stores in America, just like the character. The Simpsons wasn't making this shit up. It's a stereotype for a reason because it's based on real life. So let's not pretend the whole audience recognized Apu was racist now, when really it's just a small number of regressive liberals who started complaining 30 years after the character's premiere, and they were given a big outlet for it, like this guy. Next, let's talk about Adi Shankar, the TV producer who leaked this story. Well, he's not even working on The Simpsons, first of all. I still believe them writing off a poo is probably true, but it's worth noting that this Adi guy is another fake wannabe, much like the Harry guy who complained about a poo in his documentary. And guess what? Shocking, these guys are both Indians as well. Sounds like they're a little jelly to me. They see a poo as one of the most popular Indian characters on TV, so just like we've seen time and time again, the SJWs love attacking things that are popular, trying to tear them down because they're petty and jealous. And in my opinion, it's really bad for the producer of one show to heavily condemn and criticize the actions of another. I don't know, it just seems wrong to me. They should have a little professional courtesy or something. You'd think one producer can understand another, but no. And actually, I think since Adi is working on a Netflix show, that could explain things a little bit. They tend to hire lots of aggressive leftist SJW amateurs these days, much like the horrible staff they have for the new upcoming Witcher show which is also only casting women and minorities. Wow. So seeing this kind of embarrassing behavior come from another Netflix producer, that really shouldn't be surprising at this point. That whole company's corrupt. The show eventually did make an attempt to address that criticism in an April 2018 episode, but many found that effort to be lacking. Questions have lingered since then around how the show will handle a poo. When The Simpsons returned for season 30 on September 30th, Shakar seems to know the answer, as he revealed in an interview with IndieWire. I got some disheartening news back that I've verified from multiple sources now. They're going to drop the Apu character 
character altogether. He said, they aren't going to make a big deal out of it or anything like that, but they'll drop him altogether just to avoid the controversy. Shankar frames the news as disheartening because his efforts to crowdsource an appropriate and thoughtful handling of Apu led to what he called the perfect script, but it isn't to be. Shankar said his sources include two people who work on the show plus a third who works for the series creator Matt Groening directly. While this secondhand account attributed to anonymous sources is hardly confirmation, Fox didn't refute Shankar's claim. Instead, the network simply pointed IndieWire to Apu's appearance in the October 14th episode, My Way or the Highway to Heaven. He popped up there in a group shot featuring an assortment of characters gathered around the feet of God. This brings me to another appearance of sorts which Apu made, and The Simpsons, who had a cameo appearance on another show recently. South Park actually made a joke about them and kind of predicted this whole thing a few weeks back. Their episode called A Problem with Apu, which, now that I notice it, is the same name as that documentary. Except, of course, South Park says A Problem with Apu, like a poop. And the documentary is Apu, like the character, of course. And you'll find out why in a second. You see, despite the actual mentioning of The Simpsons and Apu in this South Park episode being brief, despite it being short, it was also powerful and unforgettable. Let me explain. Basically, at the end of that episode, the town of South Park had decided to send off and get rid of one of its older, non-PC characters, Mr. Hanky, the Christmas Pooh. And after making a big, sad, dramatic exit, Mr. Hanky goes to the only place that still allows offensive, non-PC characters, The Simpsons. All of the main cast makes an appearance, and Apu even gets a line on South Park here. Check it out. Cool, man. Talking crap. Welcome, my friend. Please, rest your weary feet and make yourself at home here. Hooray! He's greeting Mr. Hanky with his signature Indian accent. And while here is where the story ends in South Park, well, it looks like the Apu character's narrative is carrying on. Much like how South Park sent off its character as a joke in order to make fun of the leftists who would have you do that seriously, well, the Simpsons might be doing it for real themselves. And that's a sad thing if you ask me. It's the end of a legacy, the end of an era. The Simpsons caved in and thus, their show's legacy, reputation, and mystique, they're all but gone. South Park can revel in the fact that they called it here and we saw it coming, but damn, it's still really rough to see. In general, Apu presence on the show has been toned down and rendered virtually invisible over the past few seasons. But many see that as an abdication of responsibility. The Simpsons created Apu and made him the racial stereotype that he is. His creation wasn't an intentionally malicious act, but hindsight, as demonstrated in Kandabalu's documentary, has shown how harmful his existence has been. It's clearly time to move on, but it's hard to see an apparent decision to write Apu out of the ongoing story as anything other than an attempt to sweep this chapter under the rug. If you are a show about cultural commentary and you're too afraid to comment on the culture, especially when it's a component of the culture you had a hand in creating, then you are a show about cowardice. Shankar told IndieWire, it's not a step forward or a step backwards. It's just a massive step sideways. If you're curious about the story approach for fixing Apu that Shankar's winning author came up with, do make sure to read through that interview. Even though there wasn't much chance The Simpsons would ever produce a spec script, it's clearly enough that it's hardly an unsolvable problem. Jesus Christ. Calm down, Mashable. You sound like a pearl-clutching soccer mom. Relax, will ya? Apu's character wasn't harmful for society. Society. That documentary showed that one insecure guy couldn't handle the joke. Kandabalu is an American Indian who took umbrage with the poop, but that doesn't mean the whole country did, not even all the Indian Americans. Many people enjoyed him and got entertainment from Apu, in fact, coming from his strong and compelling stories on The Simpsons Show. And it wasn't about him being a stereotype either. Apu was an Indian immigrant, sure, but he also had a wife and many kids, and a job and his own business. He had an interesting backstory and a story arc that has really been enjoyable over time over the years. So I argue the opposite of what Mashable in that documentary would have you believe. I think Apu is a fine character and a welcome addition to the show and to television in general for our country. Apu's brought many laughs and a lot of entertainment value to our country. So rather than just calling him a racist, harmful thing, which can only be confirmed by one wannabe comedian guy with a chip on his shoulder, well, I say the verdict's still out whether Apu was a good addition to the show. In the end, it's all but confirmed that The Simpsons will just be letting Apu go. And although it sucks and it's not cool, I can't say I blame them either. If they really want to go on with the show, getting this controversy behind them is the only way to go. Regardless, it's really sad that it's come to this. Just when you think the tides are turning and conservatives and anti-PC advocacy are taking hold, then something like this happens. The SJWs get their win and it feels like we're in pre-2016 America all over again. Hell, some say SJWs in 2018, they're even worse. What do you guys think? Should Apu be dropped from The Simpsons? And since the show caved in, does that open them up to more attacks from the left? Give them an inch and they take a mile as they say. And now that the 
Indian stereotype is out there, will the SJWs go after these mafia guys, who are Italian stereotypes? Or what about Brandine here, the redneck Southern American stereotype? Do you guys think the Simpsons will have to peacefully sunset groundskeeper Willie too, for being Scottish? Or is the PC outrage only going to happen for the black or brown cultures? Comment your thoughts and everything below. And thanks for watching. And also make sure to check out our updated links below the video. We've got social media, Twitter, support places like Patreon, and even some links to playlists with more fun videos to watch. So enjoy those and thanks again for watching today. We'll see you all next time.